So as per usual, I love experimenting with different weapons, different loadouts. I am a madman and I just love everything in the game. I don't really tend to stick with just using one thing or the other. And so lately I've actually been experimenting with the differences between the AKM and the FCAR yet again. I've already made a video on this where I kind of explain the differences and I'm just sort of revisiting it because we've been seeing meta shifts and it's always good to sort of step back from what you typically play and try something else to see how it feels. And slowly I've been really enjoying the AKM a lot more than the FCAR. And I think I figured out exactly why it's feeling so strong right now. Feel free to comment below what weapons you are finding really strong in this current meta as we're reaching a little bit closer to Season 2, and be sure to subscribe for more content on the finals. Now in a previous video, I discussed the differences between the FCAR and the AKM as I said before, and I had mentioned that I prefer the FCAR most of the time. However, the meta has been shifting a lot lately after multiple nerfs and buffs, we are in a meta where double heavy and medium or a double medium and heavy is very strong, even though we are kind of already there. We are seeing tons of mesh shields and tons of heal beams, meaning there is a lot of HP and a lot of shields that we need to burn through. The AK has a bigger magazine and more damage per clip, which in a lot of cases is becoming a lot more useful than before. Previously, we only saw recon on teams and it felt quicker to kill overall because of this. It took me a while to clue in to why, but I'm very curious to see if stuff like the M11, the M60, or any other big magazine, large damage per clip weapons are shining a lot more now that we are in what I will call the durability meta. I had tons of fun experimenting with the AKM and different loadouts with it, and I found it worked well with stuff like the sonar grenade, the APS turret, and the good old frag grenade. The sonar provides a lot of intel for your team and has come in clutch plenty of times now that we're not really seeing recon quite a lot. It's basically providing that intel that we're missing from having a recon player. The APS turret helps you avoid nukes, grenades, RPGs, and a lot of other things that might be thrown your way, which can save you and your team a lot from a lot of potential damage like explosions and uh, entry damage that you're usually trying to avoid. The frag grenades are typically just a classic pick that can work realistically on any class and any loadout. I am very curious what is going to happen with Season 2 and what metas will form then, along with what new gadgets, maps, weapons, and new stuff in general we are going to see. Let's hope for an awesome season with tons of cool changes, and please enjoy these clips, and I will see you in the finals. Original force stay alive. Damn that run. Still happening. The folks are back in play. I'm just gonna play in. Fall's about to get you. Oh, sure called it. Sorry. <laughs> Holy shit! The chase! Yeah, wait, once it's around this bend here, I can just, yeah, I can do this. Watch out. Purple's still around. I can steal it now. Pink life, pink life. Yeah, just steal, just steal. You see him. He's bouncing over. Yeah. Two, 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 two different teams, three. Johnson. What the fuck is that? McCoy. One, one guy's in front of you, in the moving fly in front of you. Oh sh... What is that? Damn, why did it spawn me back here? Oh, one's under you, climbing up, it's a 1v1, 1v1. Purple's wiped, I'm almost there. Nice! Huge, that's a team wipe. I got res. Yeah, you can res me. Just manual. Do you have rope? Things on the other side here. Uh, here. Thanks. Taking it. Ah, uh, no, no. I got him off it, but yeah, there we go. Nice. He's coming. He's no ammo. He's no ammo. <laughs> what the fuck was what that? What the fuck, bro? Stealing. 
<laughs> Let's go. <laughs> what was that? They spawn. Mm. Right from outside. Getting chased so hard by purple, bro. Purple's coming around. Uh, yeah, to be good, be good. Southwest, southwest. Go to fight, go to fight, go to fight. No way the gas is not hitting them. 10 seconds. Someone's stealing, someone's stealing, someone's stealing. Dive, dive, dive. Nice, nice kills, nice kills. That's enough, that's we enough, got it. that's enough. Let's go, baby! <coughs> Holy <laughs> shit, that. <laughs> I know, but like. Like, why is the other guy showing up? Oh, I'm gonna spawn! Whoa, look at the spawn! Got a light on me. Oh. Oh. Or last? Right here, right here, Invis. He's over there. Outside now. What the fuck? Why'd they spawn here, too? One's up on the... One's up on the balcony. To the left here. Okay, yeah, thanks. One HP on him. Half. They're, they're both kind of low over on the left here. An idiot. Oh. Uh, last one is kind of in the open. He went for us. I, I'm above you if you can res. Well, behind us, behind us. Oh, last one's on me. Uh, us. 2v2. 2v2, yeah, above. I'm here. Got stunned. Shit, just saw. He doesn't know. I got four res. Fucking lights, man. <laughs> like, I mean, have you ever seen someone spawn over here in the wacky spawns right now? Oh, 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 On top of the roof here, red. Yep. One's a crane. He's literally one. Yeah, one is a crane. Nice crane drop. Oh, so did they. Oh, 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 what just oh. happened to the crane? Ah. Hey, yo! It's crazy. It's freaking out. It's. It's out. I'm gonna try to get three and I'm gonna try to double it. Hold up. 